Was good, people. Agent Julius reporting for duty. I have decided to check out the new Looney Tunes cartoons. Um, it intrigued me that after all this time, Warner Brothers is deciding to go back to the uh, original formula of uh, short-form zany cartoons doing uh, cartoon violence <laughs> onto each other. So I figured I'd uh, give it a watch to see how it compares to uh, some of the original stuff from yesteryear. So that being said, let us go ahead and uh, buckle into our favorite wabbit hole. Uh, let us foil various uh, individuals using uh, wild cartoon violence and uh, highly questionable <laughs> uh, military grade weaponry to do so. Uh, let us of course then smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and let us examine the return of an old formula. So first things first, let's go ahead and talk about the speed paint. Um, when uh, Looney Tunes cartoons was first announced, they showed a, a quick short of Elmer Fudd chasing Bugs Bunny, just like the uh, good old days, uh, chasing him around with a scythe of all things. And there was a bit of a hubbub saying like, why did they get rid of uh, Elmer Fudd's gun? Uh, what is this? What is this uh, censorship nonsense? And as far as I am aware, uh, Fudd's gun was taken away from him quite a while ago uh, because there was a time, I want to say maybe in the 80s, this is all off the top of my head, I don't have anything pulled up in front of me, but a while ago they decided no guns in cartoons. And so Elmer Fudd no longer had a gun. So this has been for a while. Now, uh, I don't mind if cartoons have guns in them. Obviously some parents and other uh, more staunch people may uh, say otherwise. Uh, but believe me, this cartoon series has plenty of other kinds of violence. But uh, anyway, so Elmer Fudd chasing Bugs Bunny with a scythe. Uh, it was kind of funny because it reminded me of that scene from American Psycho. You know, Patrick Bateman hacks up that dude with an axe. So I decided, oh, I'll just make uh, Elmer Fudd, Patrick Bateman with the scythe with the same, you know, smug pose that he has pulling that axe back. And there's, uh, there's your explanation. So uh, is the cartoon good? Uh, basically, it's it's basically exactly what you'd expect. It is a return to form. Uh, it's the same formula you'd expect of you have like, you know, Bugs Bunny uh, doing a thing and then either Elmer Fudd or Yosemite Sam uh, represents some kind of bully-like antagonist. And of course, Bugs Bunny screws around with them for six minutes. Uh, antics ensue, the end. Um, it's great to see that they're coming back with the, uh, the animation style. I think that's the kind of the, the, the draw of this is because the original Looney Tunes had really great animation because that was back in the day when you had a whole studio, uh, dedicated to just a six minute short. So they could, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff with that huge bloated budget. And it wasn't until I want to say the sixties when cartoons started getting on television that they started dumbing down animation so that it could fit in more of a, uh, you know, that long form of like, oh, we got 24 episodes and we have to crank these out like, like gangbusters, so we have to simplify the animation. So it's kind of nice to see the return to like really nice hyperfluid, um, you know, cartoon <laughs> animation. And it's kind of funny, you know, looking at this cartoon because this is uh, the first time Looney Tunes have been like back to their roots since like the, or the origin of, you know, the Looney Tunes. Because, like, there was that whole stretch for a good few decades where they did anything from, like, Looney Tunes Babies to Tiny Tunes. And then eventually they even did that Looney Tunes uh, sitcom style. I think it was called The Looney Tunes Show, which is an amazing show, by the way. And I might even do a video on it at some point because it's its own thing. But anyway, after all of that stuff, they're finally returning back to this uh, simple formula. And I... Uh, I actually don't know why they did it. Maybe just just because, you know, it's, um, I enjoy it. You know, it's fun to see, you know, the return of like dynamite being used <laughs> to, to blow up cartoons and old gag and like uh, old gags of like the, the Wile E. Coyote painting a tunnel on a rock and the, and the Roadrunner going in and stuff. They even subvert some of the old gags. Like for example, there is a subversion of the Wile E. Coyote paint the tunnel on the wall thing, which I thought was kind of clever. So the basic format of the episodes is uh, you have kind of like a main segment, which is like a six minute short, and you'll have anything from like the Bugs Bunny things I mentioned. Another really popular thing they do is the Porky and Daffy team up. 
Uh, and oh, by the way, there is a, a massive uh, return to form for Daffy, where for the longest time, uh, Daffy uh, went from his original, you know, crazy self, which Daffy means crazy, so crazy duck, Daffy duck, you know, when he was jumping around going, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, you know, and just bouncing around like a pogo stick. And then he changed into like this, this conniving, greedy miser. And he, he, he's been that way for so long that seeing him go back to doing the hoo -hoo, hoo 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 you know, like bouncing around thing was really interesting to see because Daffy is Daffy again, you know, <laughs> make Daffy Daffy again. So, uh, uh, and that was kind of nice. Um, in addition to that, they'll have like really short uh, segments kind of tossed in there, like minute long gags or like, you know, really quick shorts. Like uh, one of the shorts they do was like Marvin the Martian. It's actually a recurring theme. Marvin the Martian lands on a planet and he goes, you know, like, oh, I claim this planet in the name of Mars. And he sticks the Mars flag into the planet's surface and then something weird happens. Like uh, the planet is, it's a balloon and he punctures it and it flies off. Or, you know, the planet is actually a living creature and it eats the flag and then eats him. Going back to the question, why did they make this? I'm, I'm thinking they probably made it just so they can uh, experiment a little, you know, just for fun. Like you don't really need a reason to make a cartoon if you really think about it. Um, so like, you know, why do you need a reason to return to form to like doing cartoon gags? Maybe they miss it. Maybe it's just a nice return to form. Maybe, you know, now is a, a chance for the modern era to take some of these age old gags that have uh, existed in cartoons since like their inception as we know them. And now they are uh, taking these things so rooted into our uh, psyche and getting a chance to subvert them again to almost kind of like uh, going back into history and like resetting a trend like um, I guess if you think about it like a more successful Star Wars <laughs> like if George Lucas you know redid Star Wars in, in, a, in a way that was more amicable with the populace but then again I don't know what the uh, the general consensus of this new Looney Tunes is so you know I guess that remains to be seen okay uh, all in all uh, this cartoon is just dumb fun uh, it's not anything I'm going to sing praises about because it's not really doing anything interesting, interesting. Like, again, subversion of gags is probably the most interesting thing they got going for it. But it's also not offensive, um, it, even despite the gun controversy. Because even though I'm of the opinion that uh, it, I, I think it's rather unfortunate and kind of weird that they take away guns, I semi-understand the reason why they did it. But it's weird to have Elmer Fudd as a hunter without a gun, Yosemite Sam as a, as a cowboy without, without his guns. But at the same time, I find it funny how they, they allow every other type of violence in the book in there. They allow explosions, they allow dynamite, they allow swinging axes and scythes at each other, uh, crushing each other, torturing each other. So as long as it's not a pew pew, violence is okay, kids. It, it's kind of that letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. So yeah, um, I have no doubt they'll make more shorts. I don't know how cheap or expensive it is to crank these things out, but uh, I'll be interested to see it because sometimes it's just kind of fun to reminisce about the good old days and, uh, you know, do a, a nice little return to form. And that's what this is. It's just more Looney Tunes. Great, cool, whatever. All right, so with all that said, I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up a bit early this time around. So you folks know what to do. If you like what you see, you want to see more, go ahead and tickle the sacred buttons, like, subscribe, uh, notification bell, all that stuff. Uh, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. What are your opinions on Looney Tunes? Uh, what would you like to see in the future on this channel? Also, I always say go ahead and share the video. Share it far and wide so everyone knows what you have on your search history except the things we all know that you want to hide. And of course, you want to stalk me elsewhere on te Interwebs, go ahead and hit up my social media links. I'll put them here on the screen, as well as down in the description box below, you can go to my intro video where that has all of my links in one convenient spot. Uh, that's an algorithm trick. That's the reason why I do that, as opposed to just posting uh, the links in the description box. But um, with all that said, I thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you all stick around. And until next time, a deuces.